stay on my grind, man, I'm doing my damn thing It's a nerd, it's a lame, it's the Technical Swag DJ. Okay party people, you're back in the lab, it's your DJ with Technical Swag, and we're gonna do another re-review, old hardware for new software. So basically this is a all-in-one, the Touch Smart 300 1003. Windows 10, I guess it's the latest version. I didn't, in I didn't install any extra drivers. They were all pretty much installed after the setup installed. Um, what you see here is an AMD Athlon 2 times 2 235 E processor, uh, 2.7 gigahertz processing speed. It's a dual core, 7.75 gigabytes of RAM installed, 64 gigabyte operating system, Windows 10 limited touch support with two touch points. Now, let's see, the graphics is ATI Radeon HD 3200 graphics. Okay, it's shared graphics, it's not discrete, but uh, basically, you know, you got two USB ports on the side, you know, your headphone and your, your um, line in input on the side here, micro SD card slot. You have your volume up, volume down buttons. And let's see. And a mute button on the side. Power button is at the top right hand corner. You know, webcam where you can tilt it and kind of move, move it around a little bit. It's got a little tilting thing mechanism back here. It's got a home button, and I think when you hit that home button, it would go to the Touch Smart uh, software that came pre-installed when these models first came out. This is an older model, uh, all-in-one touch screen. I just picked it up the other day for like a steal. This guy said he deleted a DLL file or something on it, and the computer wouldn't work right. He couldn't drag and drop folders, and he lost a lot of functionality. So he tried to take it to uh, Joe Schmo computer guy down the street, and the guy said that it would cost $80 just to look at it. Just to look at it. So the guy went back home and basically uh, put this in a closet and went and bought a new all-in-one PC. That's not even touchscreen. I, I couldn't believe it. So basically, when we met, he basically gave me this computer with no OS and nothing on it. It had four gigabytes of RAM. You know, I quickly, I quickly uninstalled the four gigs and reinstalled eight gigabytes of RAM on this machine. It came with, let's see, uh, yeah, like a, about, about probably a 750 gigabyte hard drive, but you know, only like 610 shows up. So maybe it was 640 or something like that. I'm not too sure. But anyways, what I did was I basically split up the hard drive into three. So three partitions. So the first partition was regular Windows 7. Um, that's the one I would probably use for like DJing and production because it's going to have limited drivers on it, installed on it. Um, the second partition was a uh, full-on Windows 7 with all drivers installed on it for testing purposes and gaming purposes, game, game testing purposes. And this hard drive here is for Windows 10, just to see, test Windows 10, play around with Windows 10, you know. So basically when I boot up this PC, it asked me which one to boot, Windows 7, Windows 7, or Windows 10, you know, um, and I selected. You know, now when I booted though, um, the boot screen comes up with like a Windows 10 sort of interface and it asks me which operating system or, or you know, hard drive to boot up, which I like, it's, it's pretty convenient. Um, but, okay, so let's get back to this. Now this is a re-review because the reviews I've seen initially to this were basic like unboxing, um, out of the box operations, functions, features. Um, this was normally featured with um, HP's software. You know, they had some photo software, some movie making software, 
and I guess some kitchen recipe stuff. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't even want to say their names, but a big company that does a lot of reviews and stuff like that, and I look up a lot of uh, tech specs on their website, they basically said that this computer was sluggish in performance. It was really basic, run of the mill, and it probably do best sitting on a kitchen table using it for recipes. So, I mean, I was just like, what? Okay, so I figured, what I figured the problem was is that HP's software was making this thing sluggish. So I wanted to basically see what it'd be like to run a clean Windows 7 or a clean Windows operating system without the HP environment attached to it. Um, so basically this is what it is right now. As you can see, the touch response is awesome here. You know, um, I don't even think it really needs uh, calibration or anything because I think just maybe my fingers m might be a little bit big, you know, but, but basically it functions really well. We'll check out the Microsoft Edge, see what's going on. As you can see, and this is Windows 10, it, it's running like really nice, you know. I, I would probably, I'd, you know, I'm tempted to keep Windows 10 on here. I have another 16 uh, gigabytes split into two 8 gigabyte chips. I could put that in here. Maybe that would even uh, make it more flawless, run more flawless. But I mean, it's running great right now. I mean, why would you... Why would why would you say this is not a good computer? TouchSmart 300, 1003. Thank you, HP, for making good machines. But the software, I guess, wasn't all too well put together. Um, and I didn't do, uh, you know, um, even with Windows 7, I didn't even do the service pack installs. And I'm impressed, thoroughly impressed. You know, um, everything is looking pretty good, you know. It's running pretty flawless. Wiggy, 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 wiggy. I mean, you see how it's doing. I mean, this computer is clearly... Clearly worth at least... I'd, I'd say at least $300, man. I could... I, I, I don't even know if I'm really going to sell this computer anymore. I planned on buying it, hooking it up, you know, and selling it, but, like, you know, it's really nice. I mean, I really love my HP Envy Rove, by the way, um, but, you know, this is really dope for a stationary computer, you know. Um, another thing I did like about it is, uh, if I can find my pen... Here we go. I can use my pen from my Touch Smart uh, or my Elite Book and use it with this too. It works just fine. I mean, as you see, the response time is flawless. It's flawless. It's flawless, especially for a computer of this age. Matter of fact, when was the T Touch Smart released? Let's see. Oh, let's see how the computer responds. Uh, the computer keyboard, the touchscreen keyboard, touch smart. 300 space. Uh, um, release date. I mean, the, the keyboard is flawless. I'm actually getting impressed with Windows 10, man. I just don't I just don't like all the rumors of the data mining. You know, I turned a lot of those options off. You know, a lot of those relay messages back and try to help Microsoft by sending messages back about this and that. You know, uh, I turned a lot of features like that off. I would like to know how to turn more off. So... Let's see, do we have Touch Smart 300? October 2009. Oh, it's not as old as I thought it was. But I mean, this computer is, is really dope, man. I'm really impressed. 
Let's see if the Windows Store works. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you really can't hate on this. Now, um, a, a big test, of course, you know me, I gotta run that virtual DJ. Let's see how that's gonna pop off. Stay on my grind, man, I'm doing my damn thing.